Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Spring Data MongoDB. Our viewer is seeking help with pagination in an aggregation pipeline. They've implemented a solution that feels a bit hacky and are wondering if there's a more efficient way to achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the issue of paging results from an aggregation pipeline in Spring Data MongoDB, we first need to understand the structure of our query. We start by creating a method to get the total count of results. This involves performing a match operation followed by a group operation to count the results. Next, we implement the main method to find all athletes by name. Here, we call our getCount method to retrieve the total number of results and then perform the aggregation for the actual data. Finally, we construct the aggregation pipeline for fetching the paginated results. This includes the match, skip, limit, and sort operations. While this solution works, it may feel inefficient as it runs the query twice. We can explore alternative methods to optimize this process in future implementations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user found a solution for paging results in an aggregation pipeline using Spring Data MongoDB. They emphasize that they are not a Mongo expert and welcome feedback on their approach. The provided method, search with filter, filters customers based on a regex match for first or last names, applies pagination, and returns a page of results. The user also shared the customer aggregation result class, which holds the count and documents returned from the aggregation. They noted an issue with a generic result class that caused an exception. In conclusion, the user hopes this solution helps others facing similar challenges with MongoDB aggregation and paging. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.